Now that we know how to do wudu, there are a few things that will break your wudu. 1. Going to the toilet, whether you are doing number 1 or number 2. Your wudu will be broken if you use the toilet. 2. Passing wind will also break your wudu. 3. And sleeping will break your wudu. There are other things too, but these are the main ones you need to know for now. Let's see some examples to see if you remember them. The boy has done wudu. He walked into the bathroom without any slippers. Is his wudu broken? Hmm. You got it. His wudu is not broken because he didn't use the toilet for number one or number two. The boy just finished his wudu. He was playing and he tripped over and then started to bleed. Is his wudu broken? Hmm. You got it. His wudu is still okay because blood is not one of those things that break your wudu. But remember, he still has to clean himself before he prays as blood is najis. Okay, last example. The boy just finished doing wudu while he was at the park. Then a dog came and licked him. He is all najis now. Is his wudu broken? Hmm. You got it. His wudu isn't broken because it's not one of those things we mentioned. He may be najis but his wudu did not break. Don't forget, when you need to pray, you have to clean the najasa off. Good job.